back on the 2002 GS 300 Lessons and it was having problems with it accelerate and then it would stop, slow down or whatever. And then you'd be able to turn it off and turn it back on and it would go and everything. So we're trying to diagnose what's the exact problem. Most people say it's the PVC or something or the whatever it's called. And they were trying to say that it's something with the throttle body plate. It could be the time again, right? Go off on it or whatever they say it could be. But just found one issue with off of the um, intake tubing. One of the lines has a split in it. So I sent them to the store to AutoZone to get the um, to get a hose. Gonna put that on and see if that is the problem. And just gonna keep running down diagnosis to see exactly what could be the problem with it. But so far I found the split holes, a dirty um air filter. This air filter is is literally dirty. And yeah, all type of stuff and they're gonna blow it out. I want him to replace it, but he don't want to replace it. So I'm just gonna get the uh the um uh, the air holes and blow it out, put it back on. Yeah, so we're gonna go have him go to the store, get the tube and everything. It's a little rubber tube that goes from the intake to the throttle body and it runs to the back of the crankshaft valve, I believe. So that's what that is. And is had a split in it by right here, so I'm thinking that's it. He just had this replacement. He bought the car five years ago, so I don't believe that this thing cracked. I forgot what it called. It's the PSV something. I don't believe this thing cracked for five years. These things normally crack after maybe a hundred to two hundred thousand miles. They normally crack and need to be replacing and everything. And I don't think it's nothing with the timing with the throttle or whatever. I think it was just this tube had a crack in it, and it needs to be. Repaired and a new one put on there. I'm gonna track the other one to the other um, uh, crankshaft valve or whatever you call it. I'm gonna check that too. See if we got a split line in it or not. And then once we put that on, we'll take it on the test ride to see if if it fixed the uh, problem and everything. I'll hop on the e-way, see if that fixed the problem. I click the mass airflow sensor, knock some of the dust off. I'm gonna take this. And go on the filter I'm taking and go blow the dust as much dust out of it as I can. And from the looks of it, it looks like he's starting to it's not leaking oil, maybe a little bit of seeking out. But this is 2002 lessons. It got well over 230 something miles on it, maybe 50 now, 250 some thousand miles on it. And never really did no type of work to it, none. None. Besides, when you first bought it, you had to put a washer color on it. That's it. No